Hi everyone, my name is KJ Foster and this is Fostering Resilience, bringing you everything you ever wanted to know about recovery and how to become a recovery warrior. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you information about Al-Anon, specifically the what, the why, and the where of Al-Anon. So what is Al-Anon? Uh, why do I need Al-Anon? Do I need Al-Anon? And where do I find this Al-Anon? Also, stick around for the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit of information about my personal experience with Al-Anon. But first, let's go into what is Al-Anon. Uh, Al-Anon is a 12-step program. So just like there are 12-step programs for basically everything out there, which I've shared in one of my previous videos. So there are 12-step programs for addiction to alcohol, there's um, which is AA, there's NA for narcotics, there's CA which is specifically for cocaine, there's uh, food anonymous, there's overeaters, there's under eater, there's a 12-step program for everyone and everything. And Al-Anon is a 12-step program that is specifically for family members of people who are struggling with, I say addiction, I mean Al-Anon traditionally and originally was an offshoot of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, but in my opinion, at least around here um, in South Florida, like if you go to an Al-Anon meeting, um, you know, I, when I attended Al-Anon it was basically for a family member who was struggling with narcotics. Um, they do have an organization that's called Naranon, Naranon, which is specifically for uh, family members of people who are struggling with narcotics. There's also Faminon, which is family members of people struggling with any type of uh, addiction. So there's all sorts of different um, 12-step organizations for family members, but I'm specifically going to focus on Al-Anon because that's what I have the most experience with is Al-Anon. And so like I said, it, it, it doesn't matter if your loved one is struggling with alcohol or mul multiple substances. I have found that it's very uncommon um, to find someone who is what I call a pure alcoholic, although my husband was a pure alcoholic. Um, most people these days, it's multiple substances. Um, so like I said, if you go to Al-Anon, if you choose to check out Al-Anon, don't get too hung up on the, that it's alcohol, that it's heroin, that it's cocaine, like whatever it is. But Al-Anon is specifically a 12-step program for family members, loved ones, uh, friends of people who are struggling with addiction, um, whether they're in active addiction or whether they're in, in, in recovery. If you are struggling to control your loved one's behavior when it comes to their addiction, this is the why part, then you may want to consider Al-Anon. Um, Al-Anon was a complete lifesaver for me. So um, it, it's just like the 12-step program for any other group. So you attend meetings, you will get a sponsor, the sponsor will take you through the 12 steps of the Al-Anon program. Um, what I recommend to people is even if you don't plan on doing the 12 steps or getting a sponsor or whatever, just going and attending Al-Anon meetings can be tremendously helpful if you're struggling with a loved one who's in recovery. And what I share with people, the people that I work with, I work in treatment, I, I help people who are struggling with addiction, what I share with family members is that I don't care what you do, um, as long as you're doing something for your recovery, the sooner that um, family members recognize and accept the fact that everybody in the family is in recovery, not just the identified person struggling with the substance, because what happens is when you're struggling with addiction, it impacts the entire family, it impacts the people that are closest to you, so everybody winds up getting a little bit dysfunctional and sick. So. Um, I tell people the sooner that you can recognize that you're in recovery just as much as your loved, your loved one is and that you need your own program. So whether that program is Al-Anon, Naranon, whether you're going to see your own private therapist, that 
you you need to be doing something for your own personal recovery. So maybe that sounds familiar to you, maybe it doesn't, maybe you think you need it, maybe you think you don't, maybe you just wanna go check it out and see. My uh, recommendation is that you, had, you know, how do I find it, where is it? You go into Google and you put in Al-Anon, it's A-L-A-N-O-N, um, and then put in your city and it'll bring up uh, meetings that are in the area. And what I recommend to people is that if you have a bad experience the first time, then go to a different meeting. If you have a bad experience the second time, then go to a different meeting. I always recommend that you check out at least six different meetings before you make any final decision on whether Al-Anon is meant for you or not. Because why? Um, one of the reasons why it's so great and why any 12-step program is really like helpful and great is because you are with other people who um, are going through the same thing that you are going through. And a lot of times uh, when you're looking for a meeting, it's about finding the meeting that say I have um, a, a child who's struggling with addiction, you know, and I'm going to these meetings and it's all spouses or vice versa. You want to find a group of people where you feel um, you feel comfortable and you identify with them. And what I hear from a lot of people are two things. Is number one is, well, I have support. I have other family members who support me or I have my friends who support me. And uh, the, the way that I think about it is, and what I believe is that, yeah, that's great. That's great that you have the support, but there's nothing like having support from people who have been through or are going through the same thing that you are. People that have experience, that people that have knowledge, people that have advice um, based upon real life circumstances and experiences that can help you in ways that other family members and friends just can't. So that's why it's um, so beneficial to to go and just you know have this support group. So that's basically the the what what is it? That's what it is. It's a twelve step program for family members, and I recommend for people who are in recovery. You know, people who are in recovery, like myself, I interact with other people in recovery in recovery constantly. So a lot of times people think, well, if I'm in recovery myself, then, you know, why do I need to go to Al-Anon? Al-Anon can be very, very helpful for anyone who's interacting with or having any kind of a relationship with anybody in recovery because it really helps you to learn how to focus on yourself and your own program. So the why is because it's helpful and Everybody in the family is in recovery. And then the where is look it up, Google it, go to different meetings, give, your, give yourself a chance to, to check out and, and experience a whole bunch of different meetings before you make a final decision, whether you, know, you think it's beneficial or you don't. And if you don't find it to be beneficial, then do something. Get private therapy, do something that is helping yourself and your own recovery program. So that's Al-Anon in a nutshell, basically the mini, you know, version of uh, what I typically share all about Al-Anon. And as I mentioned earlier, um, just some personal experience, a personal perspective about Al-Anon. I resisted going to Al-Anon for a very long time. Part of the reason why I resisted. Um, have, you know, is kind of similar to things that I hear from other people and that, you know, I don't have time, you know, I, um, I have other people that are helping me. My excuse was similar in that I was already in my own 12-step program. I was struggling at the time with a family member who was in active addiction and I was early in recovery. And so I'm like, I can't do all of this. Like I'm working on my program. I can't, you know, go do Al-Anon on top of this. But what I what I found, which is so true about life in general, is that if I just take the time, if I make the time, and, and I go and I help myself, that the, the stressors and the other things that are, are you know, affecting me are, 
it's going to help. So at about nine months sober, I finally succumbed to the pain that I was in and I said, okay, I'm gonna go to Al-Anon. And, and it was um, a, a game changer for me. I, I learned so much. I learned, you know, the three C's, which are, well, I didn't cause it, um, I can't control it, and I can't cure it. And it helped me also to learn things that I was doing that were actually contributing to it. So although I didn't cause it, you know, I can't control it and I can't cure it, I can, in certain circumstances, by doing certain things, be contributing to it unwittingly. And so there were things that I learned in Al-Anon that helped me not only change my behavior, that helped um, my loved one to ultimately get sober and, and be able to help themselves, but it also helped me to learn how to stay in my own lane and to stop controlling, trying to control that person's behavior. And so they talk about staying in your own hula hoop in Al-Anon. I prefer the, uh, the staying in your own lane, in your own car analogy. So what I was doing is I'm driving along in my car in my lane and my loved one was driving in their car in their lane and what I was constantly doing is I was trying to reach over and drive their car for them. And when we're doing that, when we're constantly not focusing on ourselves and our own responsibility and we're trying to reach over and control and drive the car of our loved one, the likelihood that we're both gonna crash is significantly increased. So just that alone, learning small things like that um, really helped me. So I didn't, um, I chose the, the private therapy route. I stayed in Al-Anon for about a year and I, I went to meetings. I didn't do the whole sponsor and the steps because I was doing that like myself. So um, I, I highly recommend it. I, I believe that it saved my loved one's life because I was able to uh, set boundaries and, and learned things that I did not know before I went to Al-Anon. So that is what I have for you this week. And if you feel that somebody could benefit from watching this video, please share it and pass it on. And I thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day. Namaste.